What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Best coming at you with another video. Gotta take another break from this damn perspective, but I'm gonna be back over there in the next video. For now, I need to talk about Cowboy Clown and his crew riding again last night. That's part of the reason why I'm about three hours behind is I had to sit through listening to this bullshit, alright? And if you've ever wondered, I wonder what stupid looks like, I'm gonna show you. And not only am I going to show you what stupid looks like, people, I'm going to show you what stupid sounds like, all right? Because, let me explain something before I show this clip. You do understand there's a difference between a conspiracy theory and a conspiracy fact, okay? Because he likes to use that trigger word on people that, oh, it's just conspiracy and these conspiracy people and blah, blah, blah. Let me explain something to you. There's a difference between a conspiracy theory and a conspiracy fact. The difference is you can prove one and you can't prove the other, just like an allegation, all right? But once you can prove the allegation, it's no longer an allegation. It becomes fact, all right? So let's get some shit straight. Well, let me just let y'all hear this and how he uses the phrase conspiracy theorists, stupid people, they don't read the financials. Listen to who he calls conspiracy theorists. And people ask me in the comments, why are you spending so much time talking about AMC? Why do you care? Why do you care why people are putting out misinformation? It irritates the fuck out of me that and these so clickbaiters and the no voters are putting out all this they conspiracy are. bullshit and misleading people it irritates me that they don't understand financial statements, balance sheets, the corporate strategy. It irritates me that they're lying to people because they're a little bit, a couple screws short up in the head. And I actually care about people. So the no voters are conspiracy theorists. And we don't know what we're talking about. Let me explain something to you again. There's a difference between a conspiracy theory and what you can prove. Now, was it conspiracy theory what we were saying before the reverse stock split? Yes. It was just theory that this is what's going to happen to our stock if we do this. And we told you it would crash. And over there on his channel, on the Cowboy Clown channel, he's telling everybody how great the fucking yes boat would be and we need to ride with Adam Aaron and this was going to be okay that everything was fine and he had that opinion until one day before the deadline on the reverse stock split and he sold and he didn't tell a fucking person until the next day he pushed the yes boat on everybody and then on the day before he sells and don't tell nobody Oh, well, he shared it with his $50 Discord that people pay. And if y'all pay him $50 in that man's Discord, I'm really, really disappointed in y'all. Jesus. Where are we the conspiracy theories? No, it becomes conspiracy fact when you come over here and you read what it says about the preferred stock right here. A lot of y'all don't know this. That's why I'm going through this prospectus video by video explaining and reading the facts to you so that you understand this is not theory what we say. All right? And, for example, a lot of y'all don't know that we don't vote on the issuance of APE. We don't vote on a reverse stock split, we don't have that power no more. They took that from us. And it says right here, AMC Certificate of Incorporation authorizes the AMC board to issue from time to time up to an aggregate of 50 million shares of a preferred stock. And you know how that works. One million of them can become a billion and shit like that. But anyway, in one or more series, all right, in one or more series. So, it was established right here. You could create a series A, series B. The reason they do that is to separate the dilution. And if he would have done that the first time, 
ape would have worked. He would have had series A that would have been our dividend, and then series B, which would have been his at the market. And now the prospectus here reflects that it could be one or more series now. Further with, and here's the kicker, without further stockholder approval. They don't need our approval. There is no vote coming up because he's going to do this, people. And that's a theory until he does it. And then when he does it, it's conspiracy fact. <laughs> but conspiracy theory would be an example of that is my theory that inside that NFT, there's a contract that says that that, that NFT is worth so many shares. I don't know how to get into that NFT. If I knew how to open that NFT, you would be able to read the contract that's in there. All right? That's how these things work. Now, until somebody opens that NFT and can see that contract and it tells you how many shares of AMC is represented in that NFT, it's just theory. So, I'm waiting on it to be revealed. I'm waiting somebody that for somebody that's got way more intelligence than me in this area to figure out how to open that NFT and prove that that's a fact. And this is a fact that this paragraph on the preferred stock is explaining to people how they have taken absolute authority over that preferred stock and shareholders have no other opinion on the matter. Okay, and he also said right here that I pointed out in the earlier video. Furthermore, we, the board, may choose to raise additional capital other than the $250 million through the sale of equity or equity-linked securities, that would be your ape, due to market conditions or strategic considerations, even if we believe we have sufficient funds for our current or future operating plans. Rather, we got enough money or not, he says, we can dilute any time we want. And he wouldn't give you a warning like that, people, if he wasn't planning on pulling the trigger. Now, what market conditions or strategic considerations could AMC possibly have? That if they got enough money on hand, they don't need to do a dilution. Bullshit. That's fact. And he's colluding with who, whatever the market condition and strategic considerations. You trying to tell me it was conspiracy theory? What it was when they were dealing with Antara and we were telling y'all, but it become conspiracy fact after the matter. So why you want to wait to take it now? You know what I want to say, and not start looking forward and saying, oh, if Denaro is telling us he's only doing this to keep the balance sheet right, he's only doing this to refinance the debt, bullshit, he's telling you he can do it for whatever fucking reason he wants to, and your theory of having the balance sheet tight enough is out the fucking window, because he tells you right there, so even if we have sufficient funds... For, the, for our current or future operating plans, we have the right to dilute the stock without shareholder approval. Is that conspiracy theory now, or is that conspiracy fact? Love y'all. Be blessed. Let me get started for the next video on this prospectus. See you then. Love y'all.